Manhattan is about as traditional to the Midwest as apple pie, state fairs, and six months of winter. And today I'm gonna to show you a really great brandy Manhattan. So to start with, I'm going to use three ounces of brandy. And uh, this is the base to our really great Manhattan. And to that, I'm going to add, instead of just sweet vermouth, I'm going to do a combination of vermouth and night jar. So the vermouth that I'm going to use is a really great classic sweet vermouth. This is Carpano Antica. And this is gorgeous, really nice sweetness to it. And then using our night jar, I'm also going to use three quarters of an ounce. This is going to give you some really fantastic, dark, sort of raisiny, juicy, grapey flavors. I'll also use three quarters of an ounce. Now in this drink, I'm not going to use any uh, any cherries. You know, typically in Manhattan would have a little maraschino cherry or uh, like a really dark cherry in it. But instead of doing that, I'm gonna use the night jar, a couple dashes of bitters, super, super simple. And we'll add some ice. And then I'm just gonna give this a little stir. So now that our cocktail is stirred, I'm gonna use a nice big ice cube. And this is really important because these nice big ice cubes, they don't melt that fast. And so this allows your drink to really mellow out and settle down as it chills. That looks so delicious. And then for a conclusion, I'm just gonna put a little bit of orange zest in it. And I'm gonna cut a nice big wedge out of the peel. And this is really a, the important final step because this is gonna be what you smell as you taste your drink. So I'm gonna squeeze it, which is gonna release some of those orange oils across the drink. And then I'm gonna rub it on the rim of the glass before I tuck it in. And that is a very perfect Brandy Manhattan. Cheers.